Hello, and welcome to Kung Fu Cabinet, Episode 10. I'm your host, Kung Fu. In this episode, we will review Master of the Flying Guillotine, a.k.a. One-Armed Boxer 2, or One-Armed Boxer vs. the Flying Guillotine. Written and directed by and starring Jimmy Wang Yu, also known as Wang Yu. Also starring Cam Kong, Long Fei, Lao Kar Wing, Philip Kwok Chung Fung, a.k.a. Venom, and Doris Lung, with fight instructors Lao Kar Wing and Lao Kar Lung. Today we're going to look at one of the most amazing eyeball-twisting, brain-mashing kung fu movies in kung fu history, the 1976 Master of the Flying Guillotine. Kung fu, yeah? Remember when Danny Dinkle's older brother, remember him? He's the one who always yelled, hit the dirt, and then would ping us in the head with his finger. And Danny always said, Vietnam really messed him up. Anyway, he pulled up with his new green and black Cuda, firing that 572 Hemi and smoking those tires. I swear pieces of asphalt were being ripped out of the street and launched 100 feet or so. Remember how that just blew our minds? That was the coolest thing we'd ever seen. I mean, we thought my lava lamp was freaking crazy. And when Lori Van Driesen's bikini top came off down at the crush, we thought we'd died and went to heaven. Well, Master of the Flying Guillotine blows all those things away. It's going to melt your face and blow your mind. It goes like this. The title refers to an interesting compact umbrella-sized weapon that when needed, pops open to resemble a sort of hat attached to a chain, and when thrown, mounts the head of the victim, drops down a catch net, then blades spring out on the inside at the pull of the chain, and the victim's head is cleanly decapitated and ejected while effortlessly returning to the hand of the thrower, who just happens to be a blind Manchu imperial assassin posing as a Buddhist monk and is the master of the flying guillotine, none other than... Feng Shui Wu Qi, who sets out to avenge the deaths of his two disciples who were killed in Jimmy Wang Yu's other movie titled The One-Armed Boxer, a.k.a. The Chinese Professionals. Check out the Kung Fu Cabinet's review on that movie. Anyway, the blind monk is determined to kill the one-armed boxer by cutting off his head with the most amazing Kung Fu coolest, Kung Fu deadliest weapon in all Kung Fu movie weapon history. Even more Kung Fu crazy than the Dragon Missiles. The Flying Guillotine. Kung Fu, yeah. What ensues is a chaotic power crunch, smorgasbord of weapons, martial arts styles, mad Kung Fu skills, and one ultimate custom-made out of cold hardened steel in Uncle Jimmy's dirty garage. Killer soundtrack. I mean, it's more deadly than the Five Venoms. Let's check it out.
conjuring special effects than you have ever seen before. <laughs> everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. The master of the flying guillotine. I believe there are only a few times in one's kung fu life when you receive a golden dragon idea straight from the kung fu god himself. Jimmy Wang Yu pulled this kung fu roundhouse right out of the kung fu cosmos. This is old school kung fu. Pure kung fu fun, which I like to call kung fun. Who would have thought of engraving some electronic kraut rock into some kung fu gold? Imagine some heavy Black Sabbath, Dio, Gary Newman, and Kraftwerk all rolled into one mind-numbing kung fu kick to the groin. Pure kung fu genius. Play it backward and I bet you get some backward masking saying, Kung Fu yeah, Kung Fu yeah. Most of the music is Kung Fu injected from the German industrial band named New. But you also have some Kung Fu chops from bands like Tangerine Dream and Kraftwerk. The opening tune is New's song named Super 16, which is actually the band's other song named Super, but played in slow motion. Super 16 is the blind monk Feng Shang Wu Chi's music whenever he's on scene. The opening credits get News song Super played at normal speed. The rest of the movie presents kung fu killer tunes like Kraftwerk songs Como Ten Molody, Como Ten Molody 2, Morgan Spazer Gang, and Mittner Chalk, and Tangerine Dream's song Rubicon. Kung Fu Cabinet note of caution here. When looking for this DVD, stay clear of the Australian version released by Eastern Eye because they didn't pay for the music rights and instead subbed a corny Made in the Garage synth music score. What a kung fu shame. This movie has it all. Kung fu fights galore, awesome weapons, different fighting styles, groovy martial arts characters including one that resembles the NES Street Fighter video game character, the Indian Yoga Fighter, Dalsam. It has old school scenery, kung fu killer camera and wire work, and old school kung fu movie revenge and sweet justice. And how do we like revenge and justice served here in the kung fu cabinet? Kung fu style. No, no time for a love interest in this flick, and no sign of the kung fu cabinet's favorite kung fu movie character. The slutty, two-timing, can't trust them as far as you can throw them, kung fu movie villain woman. Kung fu, yeah. Jimmy Wang Yu's longtime kung fu favorite and has directed kung fu favorites such as The One-Armed Swordsman and The Chinese Boxer and has acted in more kung fu movies than you can shake a Yang Ding chopstick at, just to name a few, The Twin Swords, Magnificent Trio, The Sword of Swords, Tiger and Crane Fists, aka Savage Killers, and the list goes on. The other notable kung fu face in this movie is Lao Kar Wing, playing the fighter with the three-sectional staff and who is a kung fu movie and martial arts legend. See him in action in kung fu chops like the Eight Diagram Pole Fighter and Legendary Weapons of China. Lao Kar Wing and brother Lao Kar Lung just so happen to be god brothers to another favorite in the kung fu world, Gordon Liu. And the three of them are children and godchild of Lao Cham, 
who is not only a famous martial arts movie director slash actor, but also a martial arts master who studied under Lam Se Wing, pupil of the legendary Chinese folk hero Wang Fei Hung. So these guys have mad kung fu fighting skills. So having Lung Kao Wing not only act in this movie, but also function as the movie's fight choreographer along with his brother Lao Kar Lung, guarantees we'll see some hot kung fu action. Kung fu, yeah. Lung Fei is another heavy hitter in this knockout open palm punch to the forehead of a movie. Lung Fei plays Yakuma, or better known as Win Without a Knife. Catch Lung Fei in jams like World of Drunken Master and One-Armed Swordsman. We also have Philip Kwok Chung Fun, known to some as Venom. Another Kung Fu great also seen in such high kicks as the Kid with the Golden Arm, Crippled Avengers, and one of my faves, the Five Venoms. Kung Fu, yeah! And last but not least, we have the Kung Fu Snap to the Knee Cam Kong playing the movie's dark side and guillotine master, blind monk assassin Feng Shang Wu Chi. Cam Kong is well familiar in Dragon Whip Tale movies like the 18 Bronze Girls of Shaolin, Iron Monkey, and Return of the Chinese Boxer. This movie reminds me of Godzilla meets Johnny Sacco and his giant robot. I mean, this is like the Godfather meets Mr. Rogers meets the Fonz. Kung Fu, yeah. This Kung Fu classic runs 93 minutes, and I consider it a Kung Fu movie for all levels of Kung Fu movie fans. On Kung Fu's scale of Kung Fu, I give it a 10. A 1 is not even a Fu, and a 10 is a Kung Fu pow. That's it for this episode of Kung Fu Cabinet. Keep an eye out for more episodes, and we'll see you in the Kung Fu Cabinet. Thank you. Thank you.